As Phil said, the markets have been shaken by that gloomy outlook from the U.S. Federal Reserve that the strength of the recovery there is far from certain. And in another sign of economic fragility, thousands of people looking for cheap housing overwhelmed officials in Atlanta, causing a near riot. North America correspondent Lisa Miller reports. People were waiting for up to three days for the chance to apply for public housing in Atlanta. They should have let us know something, a time, when to be here. Some people have been here since Sunday morning, Monday morning. It's ridiculous. I don't have housing for my kids. So many turned up, there was a near riot. This crush of desperate people is being seen as evidence that while the recession might be officially over, the recovery is slow in coming. These are the prosperous streets of downtown D.C., an area young professionals call home. But even here, behind these ornate doorways, lies the evidence of America's downturn. And then here's what's left of the bedroom. So... That's it? It's an air mattress. It works. A self-employed industrial designer who once earned six figures, Dwayne is now weeks away from losing his home. One in four homeowners still owes more on their mortgage than their properties are worth. Foreclosures reached a new peak in June, and home values aren't expected to reach rock bottom until late this year. Every foreclosure that happens um, has a, a reverberation. It, it, it lowers surrounding property values. So, of course, that causes um, unemployment and, and erodes the tax base. So you have less money for essential services like schools and hospitals. And then, of course, that means that more people fall into foreclosure. The problem for this administration is how do you break that cycle? The stimulus package is credited with having helped initially, although not enough enough to boost the growth rate and most of the experts believe that without changes to monetary and fiscal policy America's economy will continue to stall. For those at the bottom that kind of action may not come fast enough. Lisa Miller, ABC News, Washington.